Hey, what's up friends? In today's video, I want to accomplish three different things. The first thing is to show you a 10 year update video review on a Graco X9 Pro sprayer. The sprayer might actually be a few years older than that even. And then also want to paint some lines in a parking lot. So I want to show you the tips that I'm going to use, the spray tip sizes. I have a few different ones that I had to choose from and actually I bought one that I think is like the perfect size. So you'll see how that works. And the third thing is I want to show you the Sherwin-Williams paint, the Pro Park and see what you guys think about that. So I also made some edge guides which are 20 foot long. That's to ensure that I get perfect straight lines. So I know I could have got the job done a lot easier with a four inch heavy nap roller on a broom handle type situation, but I don't think the lines would be nearly as crisp and as satisfying as what I've done today. So I'll show you. This is my first time putting paint stripes down in a parking lot. And I also just purchased from Amazon, it's a ADA handicap symbol, I believe it's like 39 inches or so. And I went with the thicker one, which I'm glad I did, and you'll see why. So let's head on over to the parking lot and get this project underway. Okay, we've arrived at the scene of the parking lot here. We're gonna be adding three handicapped spaces and touching up some other faded blue paint lines. So this is the sprayer that I own right here. I've had it for at least 10 years, as I mentioned, and it's right now still in the storage mode. So we're gonna to have to do a few things to get it prepped and ready to start spraying with. But I always try to keep it nice and clean. I think for the age, I've done a nice job keeping the paint off of it, making it look good. So it's the Magnum Pro X9. This is the Sherwin-Williams Pro Park blue paint I'm gonna be using. And then here's the spacer right here for the two edge guides that I made out of Luon. And some one by three boards here, just some scrap pieces. So 20 foot long. And then on the end right here, instead of the spacer going between the two, I made this other type of spacer that's three and a half inches, maybe slightly more. It's a board that has two holes in it. And then on each edge guide right here, I have a peg that's glued in place. So that way, if I'm working by myself, I can just put this board with the two holes in it over the pegs and that will hold it in place at three and a half inches. So now everything's completely laid out. I have paint cans on the end to keep them from moving around. because there's a slight breeze. And then here's the handicap stencil. And you can see it's going alongside these other two spots right here. So to the right here, I'm gonna cover that white line. And then on this side right here, this is gonna border a normal parking spot. So I'm gonna cover half of the white line. So it's gonna be like half white, half blue. Now it's time to get started. Okay, so here's the spray tip that I'm gonna be using. This one I just bought, it's a 313 spray tip. So what that means is it'll spray a six inch wide fan at 12 inches out. So that first number of a spray tip, you just double that at 12 inches. So this is inside my storage area right here. I have some other tips and a uh, hose shut off end right there. This is my other old tip. This one is a 517. So that would give me a 10 inch wide spray pattern, which would be too wide for what I'm doing and waste paint. So I think the 313 is gonna work a little well. The last two numbers is the amount of paint that comes out. So the higher the number, the more paint. And here's that beautiful blue color. And I'm just getting the suction tube put in. And then I have the prime tube going over in the waste pail. I'm turning it on till some paint flushes out. And now I switch it over to spray. And I'm going to get the paint going through the tube right there. Just There might be a little bit of water in there. So I'm just going to spray for a minute to make sure it's consistently paint, not any water mixed in. And now this is my very first time spraying my first line. So I'm trying to get the hang of it, try to feel what distance I need to be at. So I noticed that I'll probably have to go over it again. Maybe I could go a little bit slower or maybe it's just better to do like two quick coats on it. So I think that looks pretty good. I'm being careful not to drag the hose over the paint. I don't want to cause any other blue paint to go outside the lines. Now I'm taking the edge guides off. You can just see how nice 
that works. Nice, clean, sharp lines. I'm just really happy with the results. So there we are, sharing half blue, half white. So what do you think? So now I put the stencil in place. I basically just eyeballed it. I did bring a tape measure out, but I think eyeballing it works just as well, and it's faster. So here my first attempt spraying the stencil. I realized that I wasted some motions, I wasted some paint, and that I can do it a little bit better. I had one of my sons holding the hose so it doesn't drag over that line. But this paint does dry pretty fast. So you'll see a little bit later on where I spray another stencil where I just kind of learned to get a pattern down of how I should move to be more efficient with the paint. Like that, curving around with it. So here's a look. It just comes off really nice and clean. I'm just really happy with the results of that stencil. And I went with the thicker one, the stencil. I'm just glad I did. Here's the next line that I'm doing, and I'm noticing that I have to have it a little bit closer to the ground, so I feel like I'm bending down a little bit further. One more time going back. So I could get a spray tip extension, which would probably work better, just be easier on the back. And then here, I think I'm going to work a little bit more efficient as far as spraying the stencil. Watch how I do this. Kind of got to curve around with a little bit more. You're moving your wrist quite a bit to keep with that line. But overall, I think you're not wasting paint. There. So this is probably going to get two coats. I just want a nice, dark, robust color line. And here's a, another look at the sprayer setup that I have. I didn't really need the drop cloth. I was really careful, but you just never know if you're going to drip some paint. So it's just a lot easier having that drop cloth for insurance policy. Here's some of the stencils. That one I made. Here's some existing blue lines. My other stencil. As I practice, I feel like I'm getting my tempo down a little better. This is just another handicapped space that's bordering a regular spot. So I feel like I'm going a little bit closer now the more that I'm learning how to use it. So it applies the paint a little bit heavier. Look at that crisp line right there. Just so happy with the results. There you can see that's bordering the white line right there. I'm just putting these edge guides off to the side. What do you think? So the edge guides are off to the side here, just drying. The paint really doesn't ever, I didn't notice where it's scuffing the parking lot if I set it down. But it looks like I'll be able to use these over and over. So I'm gonna just keep them in a storage shed up high in the rafters. So in a few years, if I need to use them again, they're all ready to go. All right, so what do you guys think about the results? You know, I could have used a spray can and that paint machine to roll it on there, but that only seems to last about a year. Or I could have hired a professional, which would have cost quite a bit of money. So if you have any questions about this, please let me know. And if you'd like to see more painting videos, let me know as well too. I have quite a few things that I could make for you guys. And now I'm gonna move on to the cleaning process and the very final step of that is using this pump armor right here. Okay, so what do you guys think about the Graco Airless Sprayer and the Sherwin-Williams paint? I'm very impressed with both of them. And one thing I'm thinking about getting on my channel is the Graco handheld sprayer, the one that has the 32 ounce cup, I believe. So that's something that you'll probably be seeing this summer. So stay tuned for that. If you've tried one, I know there's some different variations. There's some battery powered ones. I'm probably gonna get the electric one that plugs in because that's much cheaper in price. So. If you have any recommendations, please put them down below. I'd like to know which ones have worked for you. And if you enjoyed this video, you find it interesting, informative, and helpful, please give it a thumbs up and help support my channel. That's it, friends. Thanks for watching. See you next time.